What's going on guys? My name is Yellow S2K and I am playing some MX vs ATV Reflex. And this is another custom track review. We are at Bump Park by Vikelli. I'm saying his name wrong, but I'm not quite sure how he says it, so Vikelli it is. Um, this is the free ride download, so you can just kind of play around on the whole area. There's a Nationals track, which I'm on, and then there's a Supercross track in front of me. I'm going to be showing you both of those in this video, so it's going to be a longer one. But uh, So bear with me, but uh, this is probably the highest quality as far as the actual track that I've seen um, of any track. So um, hope you guys like it. A couple things to keep in mind. Um, well, first of all, I guess you can download the uh, raceable versions of the national track and a raceable version of the supercross track if you want to do those individually. Um, but a couple things to keep in mind is um, things that Vikelli is doing better than anyone else, developers included is that he's making, there, there's so much line choice you can see through, right, this is a perfect li uh, corner. Four, four lines through here, it's just absolutely incredible and they all work, they're, they're realistic. Um, it's just a, a step above everybody else. Um, but he's also making these tracks really rough and they're rough in a very realistic way as far as like acceleration bumps right here, like braking bumps right here, it's just amazing, it's absolutely amazing. Um, but it, it's not too rough. And it's all rough with a purpose. Right here, I landed on the downside of that braking bump, and it actually works. Um, so anyway, keep all that in mind as I try to put in some decent laps. I have to focus pretty hard on this, so let's see what I could do. There's going to be a fair bit of mistakes, but hopefully I can put in uh, a decent lap. Um, we'll, we'll see. I'm going to do a few here. I'm going to try to rail this outside. This is a big quad. Actually, it looked kind of cool kind of squared those uh, ruts up. I normally don't do that. I usually try to hit that far inside. You can see here, oh, hard on the brakes. You can actually push through there. And there's actually a third line there that's set up by uh, him kind of smooshing those ruts in the middle. If you kind of know what I'm talking about. I know that's hard to describe, but this is always a tricky spot. Hit the line perfect and you can stay full throttle just about the whole time. Here's a corner with like six ruts through the whole thing. Just incredible. You hit that a little bit quicker and land a little bit higher up on that uphill loop section. You have to just roll this, but obviously it's a step on. We're back to where we started. So let's see if I can step it up here, smooth things out a little bit, and put in a decent lap. You can hit those inside ruts there. It's a lot faster than what I just did. Ooh, you gotta be careful of that. You can almost lean over too hard in this middle rut, especially, and it just destroys you. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Full throttle through here. Try to throw a big scrub. I'm gonna have to stretch this out a little bit, but a huge whip. I normally don't throw that big of a whip over that. That was actually kind of cool. And scrub this, just double, jump into the whoops. Got to hit this at the right angle to be able to kind of jump there and miss these tough blocks. You see I just nailed it there. That's super easy to do and it just ruins this because this uh, double section is actually pretty difficult to the point where you can't even do it on a 125. So, whoop, pushing over. Show you the whoops here. Brop, 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 brop. If only I was on my two stroke. Whoa. Lots of fun. There's so many different lines to choose from through here. I love this inside. If you hit it just right, you can actually rail that hard, even though I missed it there. It's twice in a row. Bad luck, I guess. Once again, shoot to the inside. Try to catch this. Lean back as early as you can so you don't slide out. It's really easy to do back there. And try to hug this far inside. That's kind of a fast way to do that. It gets you through everything pretty quick, but you got to have a lot of throttle control to get through there with just the insides. I don't know what I really like through there. I usually go pretty wide. Okay. Just gonna switch things up a little bit here. Miss that outside. Alright, let's put in a good lap here. This is the uh, finish line, by the way. Pretty big, awesome finish line. Fun to throw some victory whips over that. <laughs> oh, big over jump. Gonna have to stretch this out. Case it. Let's see if I can rail this here. Not quite, but you can see if you hit it just perfect and carry your speed, you can actually clear this whole thing. It's difficult though. It's very difficult actually. Oh, 
very sloppy. But hopefully I can hit the quad. Maybe not. Nope. Oh man, you can see that that shows perfectly, even though it's a bummer that I missed it. it shows perfectly how big that is. Um, I actually want to show you one other line to there, so I'm going to kind of jump back here. We'll start back. Instead of hitting the quad, we're going to just hit these uh, whoops. But then we're going to push out nice and wide. And there's a big triple here that you can hit instead. So I just wanted to show you guys that, um, since I don't think I'm going to do a whole another full lap. I can't believe I didn't hit that rut once, but if you hit the right angle, you can hit uh, that inside rut the whole way through, not just the tail end like I've been doing. Another cool thing you can do if you hit this right is try to jump all the way to here. It's pretty difficult, but if you hit it just perfect, you can nail it. And jump a little bit higher up there. Alright, so anyway, that is uh, the Nationals track of uh, Bump Park. There is one thing I did want to check out quickly. If you go back here, I believe it's right here. Yeah. Okay, so there's a trail. I, I wanted to check this out, and I know a lot of people have commented on it on other people's videos, Dio included, I believe. So if you hit this quickly, looks like a launch. Doesn't look like there's a landing. So a lot of you guys that were asking about that, looks like there's just trails everywhere. I could be wrong. There might be an actual jump somewhere that you can hit. Um, but I think you might have just added some trails here and there. But anyway, super cross track. Here we are. Obviously, I'm going the wrong way, but I'm going to get over to the uh, finish line. May as well. I guess we can go to the, the start line. That'd be the right way to do this and I have not I've only done a few laps on this track so you're gonna have to bear with me but I uh, should be able to figure it out pretty easily remember this being pretty big if you want to jump that whole thing you really gotta hit it quickly I've never hit that outside before but there's a fun rhythm through this big triple kind of jump into the corner see if I can hit the wide line I think a step on is going to be better there, and then you can just triple out. So you're kind of learning the track with me, but uh, usually super crush tracks are pretty easy to uh, figure out. You need to rail this because this finish line is massive. I remember that. So it's all about just kind of putting those things together, and otherwise it's a pretty simple track. But how cool to have this at uh, this awesome Nationals track also. Try to choke up a little bit, see if you can do this triple, and then double out. I don't think that's the fast way, so I'm going to have to take the inside there. You can throw a scrub over this big triple. Jump all the way over. That's a totally different line, but then you single into the corner. So, yeah, there's a lot of lines here. Um, I guess my cr critique would be that a lot of the lines, I feel like there's one really fast line through the whole track. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Let's uh, put in a few more laps here before we judge it too quickly. I don't want to hit that. I want to hit that inside. I don't know why I'm hitting that every time. Big triple. I don't think there's anything else to do there unless you want to slow up and try to rail this inside, which would make it easier for the step on, step off, and then just a triple, which I think is the way you're supposed to hit that. Let's try to hit this inside to inside, but you got to carry enough speed to be able to clear this, and sometimes that can be tricky. Trickier than it looks, to be honest. Anyway, let's just try to smooth things out just a touch, and that'll give you an idea of what the Super Crush Track is like. So there's the inside. Messed it up, but you get the idea here. It makes it pretty smooth. Oh. Damn. Rookie, rookie, rookie. Sorry, we want to hit this inside anyways. So, I, I guess my critique of this whole area would be, I, I personally don't find the uh, Super Crush Track to be anything special. I know I haven't really hit a good lap, um, but I just don't think it's anything to be too excited about. But uh, when it's two tracks in one, and he's, you know, you can't, 
can't complain, right? It'd be nice if I could clear that all the way over. There is a line there if you kind of hit it how I did, but that's almost cheap. It's just not very realistic. A little bit smoother that time. Hit the inside. Should be a much better lap here. Let's make this our last lap, and hopefully that gives you a good idea of this whole area, guys. You can go way wide. I guess you could do that. Since I want to take this inside line anyways, it's not that crucial. And then double, and you can just double-double. But there's that triple in line in there. Um, but once again, it's just... I don't know. It's not that special to me. Um, I have to be honest. Um... I don't know, but uh, the Nationals track sure is killer. It really is. Um, just very, very high quality. Um, and it's something that I think everybody needs to download this, um, or at least download some other stuff from Vikelli if you don't quite like this one as much. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, um, and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. I see all of that stuff on my phone. Um, it's just always some hard to uh, reply to everybody's stuff. Um, but I really do appreciate it all. And uh, thank you, guys. Until next time, I will uh, talk to you later. Peace out.